Uh, but I think uh, we're I both right on that. I'm out on that tonight. No, but this is important because we really do have. Yeah. Can you think of any company anywhere in the world that would ever pay millions and millions of dollars to somebody that has zero experience? Do you, can you, would any yeah. business ever do that? Well, it goes to the heart of the matter. The president's being accused of withholding foreign aid, and his argument is, well, we were studying corruption and we wanted to know about corruption in Ukraine, and I think the Bidens are as corrupt as the day is long. No young man who's the son of a politician gets 50 grand a month who has no experience working for, the Ukra- <laughs> working for a Ukrainian oligarch. You know, I mean, for goodness sakes, it smells to eye heaven. It smells like corruption. And every day on the mainstream media, they say, oh, there's no there there. This has been investigated. There's no corruption. I think the American people don't buy it. But here's the thing is fair is fair. And if they're going to put the president through this, they're going to have to have witnesses on both sides. But I'll tell you what my fear is, is that some Republicans are going to vote for witnesses. We'll get those, the ones the Democrats want. And then when we have the votes on bringing witnesses or letting the president choose his witnesses, I think those will fail, not only because of those Republicans, but because a whole variety of Republicans may not allow the whistleblower, may not allow Biden for one reason or another because they served with him. But if it turns out and the Republican base sees that this looks like only Democrat witnesses and no presidential witnesses, witnesses, I guarantee that the Republican bra- the Republican base will punish those people who set up that kind of scenario. It, 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 that, that is, I, I can't support any Republican that does that. I can tell you right now. I can't. Because if it, it looks like a kangaroo court, they're not, the Republican base is going to be very, very unhappy. This is not an ordinary vote. Everybody in the country is watching. There was not one Republican that supported impeachment in the House. I don't think that we'll be in the Senate. But if people play games with the witnesses and all of a sudden we have one side and we have John Bolton, who has an axe to grind about being fired coming in, but we don't let the president call witnesses he wishes to call, I think all hell is going to break loose. And I think the Republican electorate will boot out any of these people who allow this to be a one-sided episode. I, don't know, I gotta applaud you. Good for you. Good for you. Good for Ted Cruz. This is important because you have Joe Biden. You're not getting the billion taxpayer dollars. It is breathtaking hypocrisy where we are here and you're calling it out and we'll watch very closely and I hope your prediction is right in the end. Senator, thank you for being with us. Now, the left's latest desperate attempt to smear President Trump, keep his impeachment charade alive forever. It's insane. Earlier in the week, here you go. We got the compromised, corrupt, congenital liar himself, Adam Schiff. He attached an addendum to the articles of impeachment. We got new evidence filled with random documents from a Ukrainian American named Lev Parnas. Parnas is currently out on bail from a federal prison. What is he accused of? orchestrating a massive campaign finance fraud scheme. Oh, and hiding, can't make this up, a million dollar payment from where? Russia. Wow.